So to say thanks to the people who have recently followed my channel and to all the new people that are coming across the channel now, I've decided to give away one of my free cinematic film LUTs. It'll get your footage looking from this to this. I know these are incredibly popular right now, so I thought I'd give away my favorite custom look away for free. I have made this for S-Log3, however, I will include a Rec. 709 version as well. All the download information will be in the description below. All I ask is that you leave a comment and subscribe to show a bit of support for the channel as I am new to YouTube and it will mean a lot. Let's get into DaVinci and I'll show you how to install and use the LUTs. So once you've gone and downloaded the LUTs and you find yourself in your color page of DaVinci, firstly what you want to do is install the LUTs. If you don't know how, this is how. So if you come down to your cogwheel on the bottom right, which is your settings, and navigate to the color management tab on the left hand side. Um, just for instance, just for the record, I'm working in DaVinci Wide Gamut Intermediate and my output color space is Rec. 709A because I'm working on a Mac. Um, what you want to do, come down to look up tables down the bottom there, and what you want to do is open your LUT folder. What this does is this just opens the folder where all your LUTs are stored for your copy of DaVinci. Now the easiest way to install them is just to open a new finder window, navigate to where you've downloaded the LUTs to, highlight them, drag and drop them, replace, obviously I've already got them in there, so replace, and what that will do is that will install your LUTs into the folder. So if you close them windows now, come back to DaVinci, if you click on update lists, what that will do is that will refresh it, click save, and then when you come into your LUTs in DaVinci, if you scroll down, you should find where your LUTs are. So we've got a couple of empty nodes here. So as you can see, it's S-Log3 footage. So what I want to do is come to my node, what I want my LUT to be installed on, find my S-Log3 version of the LUT. If I double click that, that will install the LUT onto the node. And it's as simple as that. That is how you install the S-Log3 LUT onto the node. Now, if I reset this node grade, just to run through how you would install the Rec. 709 version. So if you come to your second node, what you want to do is drag and drop a color space transform onto that. Now, I've used S-Log3, so it's S-Gamma3.cine. My input gamma is S-Log3. Output color space, I want to navigate to Rec. 709, and output gamma is obviously gamma 2.4. So what that's done is that's taken my S-Log3 footage into Rec. 709 and you, as you can see I've got my empty LUT node afterwards. Now because I'm obviously applying it to Rec. 709 I want to navigate to the Rec. 709 LUT and if I double click that that will give me exactly the same output as if I was applying the S-Log3 LUT to the S-Log3 footage. And it's as simple as that. That is how you install and use the LUTs in DaVinci Resolve. Hopefully this has helped you today. If it has helped you and benefited you in some way, please like and subscribe, show a bit of support to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.